Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ability here, and in this video, I am going to be maging the entire Chance Panda set. So this is the set laid out here. You can see it is a critical based chance set. It has decent initiative, 1166, 1200 chance, 115, 114 water damage, and a 100 critical damage. Now, this set needs three 1% exos. It needs an MP, an AP, and a range. Now you guys might be thinking that these are weird items to be putting exos on, considering I have Rin Needle Ring, Deep Sea Ring, and Four Leaf, which all would be better suited for exos. However, I'm going to be discussing my thought process on why I'm going to be putting the exos on here, and it was actually something that I discovered in the middle of maging this set. So strap yourself in for some PVM maging, and let's get started. So for this Rin Needle Ring, originally I was putting MP on it, and that's what you're watching me do right now is trying to MP exo it. And I got the MP exo in about 110 tries, which is coming up here. Rin Needle Rings are very expensive to mage, both because all of the stats are necessary, so you need to have the stats at maximum, and the runes themselves are very expensive. So here you can see I get a pretty decent stats ring, 93 chance, which is kind of low, but I go for the MP, this is the 110th, and boom, it lands. So it's pretty decent, 5% crit, which is good, but I end up selling it, as you can see here, crafting another one, and then bringing the new ring into the maging interface, because rather than put the MP on the ring here, I decided that it would be better to put the MP on the cape, because the cape already gave critical damage where the ring did not, so here I transcendence rune it, and now we can move on to the next item. So this Queen of Fate cape is going to receive the MPXO, and that is because it gives 15 critical damage, which means I cannot use a transcendence rune on it. So here the intelligence and fire damage don't exactly matter on this cape however because i'm mpxoing it i had extra sync and i just threw it at the fire damage so this will be the 66th mp attempt and i have three tries at initiative before and then boom the mp lands on the 66th try which means we can move on So this deep sea bracelet will also be receiving a transcendence rune. The 8 critical damage transcendence runes are very overpowered in my opinion. It's 40 sync worth of stat which is a lot higher than most transcendence runes. It might actually be the highest sync transcendence rune, I'm not too sure about that. But 8 critical damage is far better than any other mage I could achieve using the range sync on this ring, so that is what I end up going for. Um, the critical damage transcendence runes will be very useful when using my ethical wand because it has three lines of damage which means that the eight critical damage is actually multiplied by three and we will have 24 damage increase per ethical wand use so here i'm just trying to get it to decent stats before slapping the transcendence rune on it and because it's a pvm mage i don't care too much about getting perfect stats this looks good enough to me it's not exactly perfect but for pvm it doesn't really need to be and there we have that, and it's on to the next item. This Spookoth amulet will also be receiving a critical damage transcendence rune. Everything in the set that didn't actually give critical damage, I used the transcendence runes on because they're just that powerful. And everything that did give critical damage, I ended up exoing so that I could maximize the number of transcendence runes possible. So here, these stats looked good enough to me. I always debate for a little bit whether I should transcendence rune them. And here, you can see me debating, but I end up deciding it's good enough. And that brings us to our next item. So these Queen of Fate boots are going to be receiving a range exo mage. Now it's very strange to exo mage boots. However, these are the only this was the only item that gave critical damage and did not also give a range. So no transcendence rune and I can't put anything else on it. So here I get an overmage of vitality, decide it's good enough. And boom. The range lands on the 50th attempt. Next item. So 
So this Kide Bonnet is also going to be receiving a Transcendence Rune. And because there's an AP on this, I had higher standards for the stats on it, mostly because it's not a dual element item, whereas the Queen of Fate items had intelligence and fire damage, which I could neglect. Here, I kind of cared about all of the stats, except for prospecting, really. So I wanted to get really good stats before Transcendence ruining it. And here you can see I get decent stats, and then I end up actually having enough sync to work with from an AP drop to get maximum there, give a few tries at prospecting which don't land, and then waste the last amount of sync on some paw vitality. And I decide it's good enough for a transcendence rune, so I pop it in, and... Next item. So this ethical wand will also be receiving a transcendence rune. Most of the reason that I'm using all of these transcendence runes are for this ethical wand. It's going to be my main source of damage. Of course, melancholy and some other spells will also benefit from it, but not as much as this weapon. And here you can see I land a hunting weapon on it. And if you did not know, you can still transcendence rune items that are hunting weapons. So that lands there. It's got decent stats and we can move on to the next item. So I made the same mistake on this shield as I did with the Rin Needle Ring, where I put the EXO on it when I was actually not supposed to, I was supposed to put the EXO on the belt for the AP. However, I am very happy that I did mess up and put it on the shield, because here you can see I'm going for my third attempt at AP on it, yes, my third attempt, and once I find the runes, the AP lands in just three attempts which is massive profit and I will actually be able to use this shield for my IOP but here I switch it out to transcendence rune the second one. So now that we have the correct shield in and with the right mage in mind I'm going for decent stats and I will actually try and keep dodge up on this attempt because I will be transcendence runing it and with APXOs it would be very expensive to try and keep the dodge up but here I get two extra tries one lands and I decide it's good enough and I throw the transcendence rune on it. After landing an APXO in just three attempts, I was not prepared for what happened with the next item. Now you guys might be thinking, oh maybe he lands this AP on the first attempt. However, if you are thinking that, you are very, very wrong. Before I reveal how many attempts this belt did take me, let me give you a few statistics about this belt. I spent over 20 hours maging this belt, it cost me over 50 million commas, and I placed it in the crusher three times without actually ever crushing it once, which I'm proud of myself for, I didn't give in. So this belt took a whopping 573 AP runes before it landed, and here you see me go for the 573rd rune and it lands. It's not even amazing stats, but it's surely good enough for me. So that completes the Chance Panda set mage, and two videos ago I completed the Tank Panda set, so that leaves the Rogue, Elio, and two IOP sets left before the team is fully maged. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know, and I can do a similar video for those sets as well. This has been Ability, catch you next time.